Yo, friends, what is up? Happy Monday. Cheers. This is the Koke Honey. I believe it's an Ethiopian, it's from Slow Bone. Dialing it in. The temperature change, it's been messing my shot pulling, but we'll get there. Um, Hopefully everyone had an awesome turkey day and all that good stuff. Um, I know we've talked about the Sunday fun day and the run kit and the cycling kit. Um, I should have images. I have images. I just wanted to make sure I have the um, sign up sheet good to go. Um, Cause I'm gonna mainly, I mean, I'll have it at the gym, but I'll mainly have you guys contact me with what you want and then I'll uh, mark it down. Um, the run kit's going to be pretty self-explanatory for the cycling kit. I'm also trying to set up a time, um, that we could go down and test out, try out some, try on some stuff for those of you guys that are maybe kind of unsure about sizing, uh, cause you're going to have to have that dial. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's run kit, cycling kit. Um, I'm formulating, finalizing the schedule for the Sunday Fun Day for January. Um, so hopefully get that all dialed. I'm waiting to hear back on some of the Redlands Runners people as far as um, some stuff they got going on in January and then coordinating with them. So stoked about that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we got going this week. A lot of fun stuff uh programming wise um as we lead into the holiday uh the one thing i really wanted to talk about with the holiday uh is and coming off the back of the other holiday it's kind of works together is just nutrition and not beating yourself up too much uh i can fall into this trap for sure um and like we talked about if you fall a little off the wagon don't starve yourself the next day. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna work off. Just settle back into a rhythm, right? So it's like, you can't really outwork it. So it doesn't matter really. You know, like I'm gonna run 10 miles cause I'm gonna have pie. Now, if you wanna get a workout in the morning cause you know you're gonna be chilling the rest of the day, hey, I'm right there with you. But like, don't think, oh, I ate this pie, now I'm gonna go run 10 miles or, Oh, I ate pie yesterday, so now I'm going to starve myself the next day, right? Just settle back in your normal routine. And what I like to do with the holidays is realize it is what it is. We've talked about if there's 365 days a year and you eat three meals a day, right? It's over a thousand meals. If 10% of them, so a hundred were completely wacky. What are we talking about? You know, um, so not letting yourself slip into this negative space when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, the one thing that I've always said I've tried to do is one is the juice juice worth the squeeze is it something that i'm really kind of excited about like my mother-in-law's homemade coffee cake or my uh you know someone at the gym you know janeth or katura makes you know my favorite snickerdoodle cookie or something um trying to keep it within reason but also letting it just come into my life organically right so i know it's coming so I'm not like seeking it out per se. But I'm also just kind of like, oh man, like Janeth made cookies and brought them in or so-and-so brought something, you know? Um, and then just trying to minimize it a little bit, you know, and maybe kind of looking at my week, you know, like, oh, I know I got that Christmas party and I know they're going to have some stuff that I really like. And, you know, just kind of pick and choose, pick and choose my battles but not be so dogmatic and not be so just, you know, the negative rhetoric, I guess is what I'm getting at. The, the I sucks, the I don't have willpower, the, you know, 
what's the point in doing all this if we don't get to enjoy some of the the benefits of, you know, and I also like to try and think of it as an experience. And so what I mean by seeking it out is I'm not necessarily going to go to Stell's and get a coffee. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. And there could be dates, right? But I'm not necessarily going to go there or Bricks and Birch or Slow Bloom or whatever and get a coffee and a pastry and sit alone. But, like Barrett and I like to ride bikes down to Stell's at least once or twice a week on his way to school. And then we ride to school. And we'll get a coffee and he'll get a hot chocolate and we'll share like a pumpkin bread. Like, now I've created an experience and it's a thing that we like to do together and it's awesome. Um, and that could be different for everybody, but like that, you know, the families together, you know, we're all having dessert. It's Thanksgiving, it's Christmas, it's a holiday party, you know, and then don't punish yourself the next day. Just get back on that path and, you know, eat normal, you know, but in the grand picture of things, it's really not going to move the needle that much. Now, if you go off the rails four to five days a week for an entire month, yes, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the Christmas party on Friday and then next Wednesday is Christmas and then, you know, um, but enjoy that time. Enjoy that time with your family. Enjoy that time with friends. You know, enjoy that time with coworkers. You know, and if you don't want a donut, don't have a donut. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is if you feel like having a piece of cake, have a piece of cake. You know, it's like, I'm not going to turn down cake on my son's birthday party. Now, am I going to eat cake alone on a Tuesday afternoon? Probably not. You know, but I'm also not going to beat myself up if my son's like, hey, let's go get some ice cream, you know, and it's a beautiful day outside and all that good stuff. So just some some uh, some things to think about. Um, but yeah, let me know any tips or tricks you guys have, um, you know, and uh, maybe let me know below in the comments uh, favorite holiday treats. You know, what are you looking forward to? What is that thing that comes around at Thanksgiving or Christmas time. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's have an awesome week and let's get after it. Uh, stay tuned uh, on the kits that we'll be releasing. I'll probably do the pre-sale for a few weeks, like into January on those, because um, there are some minimums we gotta hit. And uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll have some fun events. So let's get after it and have an awesome week. It's already December. Me and Marvel were just, were just texting about it. It blows my mind. So have an awesome day, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. As always, deuces.